All right, so quick update on the video that I did yesterday, which was my issues of the 1897 takedown, not being able to take it down. I messed around with it for a couple hours and I finally could pry it apart. The issue was that there was a lot of rust in it. I'll show you guys in a couple minutes here how I'll take this one down. It's still not perfect. It works about 90%. I feel like in the receiver itself, there's probably still some burrs or something like that. That's restricting just like a free sliding mag tube. For now, I use this thing, just a screwdriver, and I use it as a T-handle to pretty much rotate the mag tube out. So I'll do that as best as I can right now on camera. Just do it as quick, quickly as possible too. Just show you guys that it works. And I'll go through step by step pretty much. I'll try to do it in one take to show you guys what I'm doing. So I put the gun in the vise upside down. Just so I could have the mag tube a lot easier facing me. It's, it's pretty much just makes the whole task easier. So I'll take my makeshift pin here screwdriver I'll put it in here and I'll rotate it this is also the first time now this morning that I'm taking it apart so since last night I haven't touched it so it might be stuck I don't know so now I rotated it and now this is the part where you're just supposed to boop, plop that out forward everything's supposed to go well but mine I'm sure there's some type of burr or something in receiver so you kind of have to fiddle it forward a little bit you know See, it's coming now slowly, and there we go. Now it's apart. Pull the pump forward, make sure the mag tube is free, and there we go. So pretty much now my only issue is that I think there might be, I'm just repeating myself, but a burt in the receiver, because this part here yesterday Try to move this up so you guys can see here. Focus on it as much as possible. Okay, so where the threads go through here yesterday, this was not like this. Like this was just straight up jam packed. I took a picture of what the receiver looked like before, and it was just pretty much gunked up with oil, old oil and dust mixed with a whole lot of rust. So none of this was happening. This wasn't sliding freely. Now it is because I had to sand it and lightly file it. <clears throat> Take all the nasty stuff out of there. Now for the receiver itself. I'm trying to do this around the camera, which is an issue. But the receiver itself, here it is. It's a lot. I had to oil it and stuff. But uh, yeah, the light, the lighting is not too great here. But I mean, you can see it's a lot cleaner in there. Before here, there was like a, a caking of rust on it. Now, both pieces can be taken apart. So yeah, after this whole virus thing uh, stops, I'll order the magazine, uh, what's it called? The locking pin for the magazine with the spring. It's like five bucks a spring, I think, and like 15 bucks for the pin. Since already my shopping cart, I just have to wait until this virus thing kills itself off. But yeah, so for now, I'll try to file this out in here, see what I could do. I'll probably dismantle this magazine out of here, take it all out. And just with the mag tube, I'll see where it caches in here. I'll see. I'll see what I could do. But yeah, I'll leave the other video up just because I got people telling me to leave it up, you know, to post an update video, which is what this is. But yeah, so it just required a, a lot of force. I had... At first, to take the receiver and the mag tube, just the front assembly off the whole floor end, I use a small pipe wrench, just to give you guys a, an idea of how much it was stuck there. I used a little pipe wrench with a rag around it, not to damage anything, and I just popped it out of place. And uh, that's how I finally got it apart after a year. So, uh, yeah, that was my little adventure, my little quarantine adventure that I took on here.